Hey guys, uh, we did it. We finished the game. Now, if you've been following my channel over the last month or so, I've been really trying to get into game development more. And by doing that, I've been doing this training project, which I now call RC Space Defenders. The game is a shoot 'em up style game where you use these abilities, which is like a mine and one is a rapid fire ability. And you use these to take down enemies before they invade your base while also dodging asteroids. Right now, this game is available on itch.io for everyone to play so if you wanted to check it out because you've been watching the videos i'll link that in the description below but a little disclaimer this game is not complete at all right it's complete in the sense that i've gotten what i wanted out of it but this isn't a game that is meant for a commercial release where people should be spending money on it or doing anything like that um this game is way, way, way far away from anything like that. The main purpose of this game was to get my bearings on how Godot works, on coding in general, and just a lot of basic concepts that I just didn't know because I have never done it before, right? But now that this training project's done, it doesn't mean I'm done with game development or programming or anything like that. I think that just means we're ready to just take that next step and maybe do something a little bigger, maybe do something a little bit more correctly. So I'm gonna go over in this video what happened during the process of making the game and just kind of do a summary of everything I did wrong and I didn't like about it, the game, and what I wanna do moving forward to maybe fix that. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is the game itself. This is RC Space Defenders. This is what you'll get right out of uh, downloading it from itch.io. And yeah, like I said, basic shoot 'em up style game. Take out these enemies before they get to the bottom of the screen and then dodge the asteroids to not lower your ship health and lose. It's a very easy game. Like there is not a lot of content to it whatsoever. Um, I will say you do need to use abilities very heavily in the beginning to actually win. I think I made it really hard in the beginning because I use upgrades in a really weird way like having this screen pop up and you know having your attack increase by 20 plus 20 percent is one of the upgrades the whole scaling of the game is really off because of that and i think i could spend time you know maybe another month or two working on this game and making it better or you know i could move on to something maybe i'm a little bit more passionate about um this isn't the type of game i necessarily envision myself making it was just a really nice, you know, easy way to try to learn some key, key concepts. So, like I said, if you do want to try this game out because you've been watching the videos, it is available on itch.io. Again, link in the description. Now that we've talked about the game itself, let's kind of dive into the more of the meaty details of why I really don't like this game at all, actually. I think one of the first things I did wrong was I decided to do devlogs and this whole YouTube thing a little too late into making this project. Uh, you guys kind of caught me at the tail end of it, to be honest, and I'm kind of I'm sorry about that. Like, I think there's a lot of good stuff that I worked through on stream earlier that I haven't really been able to touch base on, and I think those could have been valuable in a YouTube video like this, but. I just didn't do it <laughs> so whoops uh, so that's on me and I think this next project is going to be a lot more comprehensive with devlogs I want them to really like go through the entire process of making the game so I'm going to definitely do that better so just be ready for that I I'm going to be better please let me know what you would like to see uh, leave a comment on what you think works well from other game dev videos you've watched or what you want to see from me specifically. Now, I think issue number one with this game was that there was no game design document whatsoever for this. I was flying by the seat of my pants. Now, when you have no design document at all, you have no strategy or path forward for any project you're doing. As I watch more game dev vlogs, I really get to see kind of the back end with their game de design documents and how comprehensive they are how you know fleshed out the ideas are like how much thought has gone into it and then i go back and kind of look at my process and i think oh wow you didn't think josh you didn't think once <laughs> uh, so i want to you know in future projects really think out things more thoughtfully so that they can be better i mean you saw the game in the beginning of this video there's no content to that really it's just 
you know, a spaceship flying around shooting things, right? I think with a game design document, it will make it so that my games are better because I've put more thought into them. I have a path forward. I can have other people look at it and, you know, tell me if this is a good idea or, you know, I just have a structure and framework for the general ideas for the game. The next big issue that I came across or have with this game is that the code itself is a coupled spaghetti disaster. <laughs> Quite frankly, the wave system is terrible. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it works for what I was trying to do, but I could have done it in a different way. It just, there's a disconnect almost with what I wanted to do and what ended up happening. Moving into Godot here, I just wanted to kind of show off some of this terrible code, just so you guys could see what I mean by it just, you know, there's a lot of things that weren't done optimally. I think my usage of signals was very, very poor. Uh, I think it was very, very bad. I mean, this is my general level script here, and I don't have, you know, any signals connecting to this really from other nodes in the scene tree. There's some small ones for, you know, despawning objects as they get out of a certain area, but I don't think it was done properly in a way that actually makes sense. I think there's also a lot of things that could have been put into functions to actually make them useful later. Overall, I just, I just, I just don't like how I did it. I wish there was, there was so many other things I could have done or so many other ideas I could have done differently to make this actually work in a way that makes sense. Even with my wave manager script, it's just, it's, it's ugly. I think it's ugly. I think the way I did it is not great. I think there's a thousand different ways to do this in a, a better way than what I chose. But I think recognizing that is a way to grow. You know, I think I, I can see this now looking back at it and it's not up to what I want it to be. And I, it bothers me. It, it genuinely bothers me. So this is something I'm going to fix. So this is, I just, I can't leave this the way it is moving forward for other projects I do. So this was a big thing that really bothered me and really is motivating me moving forward. Part of the reason why the code looks like this is because I didn't plan out exactly how I wanted to structure my software or my programs. I think trying to you know plan out the structure beforehand, even a little bit, bit I know I, I do better like diving into something and working through it, you know, actively, but that's not going to work if, you know, it's something this complicated. We really need to take a step back and try to plan things out just a little bit better. So I feel like a big, you know, theme from this video, it's going to be, I didn't plan things and it's a mess because of it. So I think that's something I want to get better at. Something else I want to get better at in general is just, you know, knowing and understanding programming at a deeper level. So I'm actually starting to read some books and just try to pick up some general knowledge that's not necessarily related to game dev, but kind of is. Right now I'm reading a really awesome book called Game Programming Patterns by Robert Nightstrom. And it just goes over some basic pattern strategies that a lot of programmers use and kind of how their applications into games fits in. Like one big one I've read about is called the command pattern and how that would fit into a game such as like with inputs or maybe having like a player controller or an AI controller take over a certain entity in the game. There's a lot of use cases for it and it just, you know, reading it just made sense. Like, oh, this is obviously how you should do things if you want a more modular approach to your software and your program and your code. So I think that's something I really wanna focus on with this next game is trying to build some modular code that I can use for later projects, you know, and not just slap everything into one script and attach it to something. Like I want to actually make it so that it's nice, it's clean, it's reusable if I need it to be, or it at least lays the groundwork for me to use it for something else to expand on it or, you know, just really try to make it better in general. Like I, I don't like how bad it feels with some of the code and trying to go back and work in it. It just, it's my code base just feels just messy at the moment. So I really want to try to tweak that to be better in general. So if you guys have tips or you have books that you've read or maybe a class that you took 
that it really helped you with this, please drop it in the comments or you can even go to my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And just, you know, we can have a conversation about that in there. I just, yeah, I want to be better about it. And I think taking this step back in reading and learning will also be helpful with that. So I will try to talk more about what I learned from this book and other things moving forward. And the last thing I really want to talk about is the fact that I don't feel like I've given myself a chance to have a lot of reps yet to be good at game development. I think in my brain, in my super hyper fixated brain that likes to move from thing to thing really quickly, I like to try to master things too quickly. And that is not how you should approach something that's this big and that takes this much time. So I want to really make sure that I'm, you know, setting realistic expectations for myself, not trying to master everything and do everything correctly on the first try. I want to give myself some grace to succeed and fail and try to grow from that. So one idea I've had is possibly doing a game jam in the future, which would be a really fun experience. Um, I just know it's hard to take that step to put your stuff out there to people in a contest format. So I might still try to work on maybe another game such as uh, RC Space Defender, where it's more of a training thing but then maybe possibly do a game jam on the side. Uh, I think just trying to get in there and keep working with everything is the best way to grow. And I think it's the best way for me to grow personally because that's just how my brain works better. My brain loves satisfaction from completing things and things looking good and making sense. Overall, I really just wanna say thank you to everyone who watches the videos and likes them and comments on them and engages with them. I really enjoy making these videos. I actually really enjoy talking about uh, game development and you know, I, <laughs> I talk all my friends ears off about it and I just, it's nice to, I don't know if it's vent or get my thoughts out there to you guys, especially since you seem to enjoy it. Please make sure you're, you join my Discord, link in the description if you wanna talk more personally about it. Um, there's also some, some awesome people in there who are willing to look at projects that you may have too. Make sure you like and subscribe for this video. I'm really excited to move forward into a new game with you know more regular updates about the process of making that game versus kind of what the videos have been previously of uh, oh i made the game oh look at this one thing i did here's some tutorials like i think it's gonna be much more focused uh, specifically on the game and we'll still have those other videos as they pop up when i think i have a topic i want to talk about so let me know if you have anything else you want me to talk about i'd love to i'd love to talk about it I, i'll talk give me an excuse to <laughs> so anyhow Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video, all right? Bye-bye.